Thanks for joining me for another edition of your show, Q Sports on Arsenal Television. My name is Jide Olano. On today's show, we will be talking extensively on the World Pool Championship. Um, it just uh, ended uh, just a few days ago at the Milton Kings. Um, for the first time in 10 years, uh, Milton Kings is hosting the World Pool Championship. And we must give kudos to the matchroom um, organization, yeah, the matchroom organization for doing so much a good job as far as pool is concerned. Yeah, we'll look at that. Uh, don't forget the usual uh, segments will be on the show. Our player of the week, you have to keep your, we'll keep our fingers crossed, you know, as far as our player of the week is concerned. We are looking at another side and so many other things that we'll be doing on today's show. Okay, thanks for joining us. Um, let me quickly welcome Joe back on the beat again. Joe is joining me again. Joe, it's a pleasure to have you on the show. Yes, you do. My pleasure to, as usual, be your guest and your talking mate. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to short break for those news making round as far as the World Pool Championship is concerned. Welcome back. It is Q Sport on ASEAN Television. And uh, right now we move to uh, the menu. And on the menu today is the World Pool Championship. Was anything to go by, it uh, was lived up to, his ex to the expectation. And the final, fantastic display by the two finalists. We must give it to them. It's Omar Al Shaheen from Kuwait, as well as the the winner, the winner eventually, Albin Ochan, the Austrian, who uh, won the championship at the end of the day. But uh, Joe, it's my pleasure once again. Thanks for joining me. Joe, let's look at uh, the World Pool Championship. We'll look at the perspective. We'll look at, um, let's look at the criteria for the World Championship. Yeah. Let's look at the criteria. Eight of them. Wow. And good enough, uh, as usual, we will always talk about Africa at some stage because I looked at the eight criteria and I uh, was trying to look at where will the African players fit in. Mm -hmm. But I saw that there are two windows open for an African player or players that will be um, good enough that we had three of them. That's good. I remember when we were trying to do a preview of the show, a preview of this championship. We're looking at, are we going to have an, Afri uh, an African or not? African players. Representative. Event. But eventually we had three. But let's just look at those criteria. One of them, I was looking at two of them that is that I, I spotted. One is the fact that uh, there are Continental Federation invitations and of course uh, there are other additional tournaments invitee. That's at the discretion of the organizer. Yeah. Well, but you just don't give it to anybody. <laughs> if it was for everybody, maybe I will be there too, or you. But let's go, let's go, let's go, let's look at the world rankings. But some of the criteria, player ranks from 1 to 16 on the World Pool Association world ranking. Yep. That's so, uh, um, first, it, it, it's a testament that the, the pool of players invited mm to play in the World Nine Ball Pool Championship that we all call the World Pool Championship. It's very, very diverse. Mm -hmm. So they spread the net to so wide to bring in the very best. And what we saw on television mm -hmm. here in Africa, it showed that uh, the event lived up to expectation. Mm -hmm. Like in the WPA World Ranking, uh, the, the top 16 in the WPA World Ranking were invited. That means that 
if you have been invited previously in one of the categories, mm -hmm. they won't invite you in other categories. Somebody else is going to replace you. Okay. Right. So the WPA is the world body for pool, all, billiard pool all over the world. So they somehow they organize their own tournaments uh, and they recognize their own tournaments. So they have their own ranking. Like I've always said that when it comes to sports, there must be a ranking. That's right. So, and for those of us in Africa, it's a lesson for us because at the, at the national association level, that if you do not have a ranking at the national association level, whatsoever activity you are doing, you are just having a game. Mm -hmm. So for this particular criteria, the world WPA ranking was one of the category, important criteria. The top 16 people in the world ranking exactly. were invited. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. Um, we've got uh, part of, apart from the U.S. Open, we've got player who finished between first and ninth at the World Nine Ball Championship in 2019. You know, there was a break in occasioned by the pandemic in 2020. So, um, and also Predator is back again in, in the criteria Predator Championship League pool winners for Group 2021. Yeah. It's, it's been held. So, Predator. They, they will also be considered those who are winners of the group uh, the group they because in predator championship it is they they have they are grouped yes, according. yes so yes. the winners of the group also the various will, groups, qualify the various groups. all right we're we'll going to break when we come back we'll still look at uh, some other criteria that will make you play at the whirlpool championship don't go away stay with us are you a pool or snooker player? Do you have what it takes to be considered as a professional? Can you be selected among the very best players in Nigeria? Join the Snooker and Pool Players Alliance to play in the following tournaments, Top 4 Pool Series and Top 4 Snooker Series. Visit www.snookerpoolplayersalliance.org for more information. Snooker Pool Players Alliance, promoting the welfare of pool and snooker players. Welcome back. It's still Q Sports on Arsenal Television. And don't forget, you can follow us on our social media platforms. They are there. For those who want to follow us, you can like our Facebook page. It's on the screen. Uh, uh, of course, follow us on Twitter. It's Twitter is there as well. And uh, Instagram, uh, you can also uh, follow us on Instagram. And of course, don't forget to like our YouTube channel. If you are just coming across this channel for the first time, you need to subscribe so that you can know any time we'll drop any interesting content for you. You know, count on us. This is the place to be when you talk about Q Sports. So, as far as Q Sports is concerned, you can rely on us. All you need to do is just subscribe to the channel. Once again, just to look at the criteria for World Pool Championship on the show today. And um, in continuation of some of the criteria is the World Pool Association Women's World Ranking. That is one of the things that um, you, they used also a player ranks in the top five of the WPA, the Whirlpool Association Women's World Ranking. Yep. So I wasn't surprised when the likes of Kelly yep. Fisher, and uh, Alison Fisher, and Jasmine and also were, were given, uh, given the opportunity, given the to, opportunity be. to be. So, and also, um, there is for the women, there is also, if you are an event winner, uh, event winner of the likes of... Uh, Winners of match room pool events between 2018 to 2020, you will have the opportunity. And uh, that is why it's important. That was why the last time you did talk to uh, Alice, Alice uh, Emily, Fisher, Fraser, Emily, Emily Fraser, Emily Fraser. Okay, Emily that was, was why we we made. When it was, mm -hmm. That was why one of the questions was how do we open or how can more African players get the opportunity mm -hmm. to to play in uh, 
in the in the top tournaments, especially okay. organized by Matchroom. Mm -hmm. And um, I think at this point, it's also important to explore the possibility of having Matchroom come to Africa okay. and organize one or two events All right. annually because it opens. Because right now, the way it is for you to be able to play in a Matchroom event, you have to fly out of Africa to UK mm -hmm. and you have to spend some time uh, in UK so that you can play in a couple of those matchroom events. But if there is a partnership between an event organizer in Africa, maybe in Nigeria or in South Africa, and the event is recognized in, in partnership with matchroom so that players from the African continent can all converge at such a venue and the winner then will automatically be given an opportunity to what? To play because that is a recognized match event to come and play in the world, uh, world championship. It's something we can put out there. I believe uh, people like Emily Fraser, Matt Porter, mm -hmm. uh, 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 Barry Hans, okay. and, um, and um, Eddie Hans, Eddie, and the matchroom group, the band of matchroom group. I, I think I'll use this opportunity once again to employ them to look at Africa as as a potential destination for their investment. Of course, uh, Africa also must show that Africa is ripe enough for the investment because don't forget that if they will be coming to Africa, they are going to be investing. And uh, um, we always want to talk about the numbers, but the quality is also very critical. And uh, they should, I know that they will be, they have their own metrics that uh, which they will use aside the fact that uh, They've got the market, there is a huge market, but I know that beside, or, uh, yeah, exactly, beside the huge markets, they will be having other metrics that they will be using. If the things go well, uh, if things go well, mm -hmm. and the schedules and the program of the Snooker and Pool Players Alliance goes as planned, in the, in the shortest time, one year, two years, or thereabouts, you will be surprised, we will be sure that we will have um, uh, some, some, major, major, what I call it, breakthrough in improving the quality of play of, many, of African players. And the, it was also amazing to look at this career and listen, uh, Joe, uh, the fact that um, um, they've got winners of Matchroom World Ranking events in 2020 also were also re invited. They were also invited for uh, the World Pool Championship is the fact that there is the World Under 20, Under 19 champion too made it to the the made it to the World Pool Championship. Not only that, the Junior Girl World Champion champion also made it there. That's the uh, uh, while the Under 17 World Champion also made it. In in in, in an interview during the World Championship, mm. which was aired on air, you could see uh, Akada. Was it Akada or uh, Alban Oshin? Mm -hmm. Yes, I think it was Alban Oshin. One of them said he started playing pool at the age of two or seven. One of them said something like that. Mm -hmm. It tells you that why in Africa or like in Nigeria, if you see the young boys play pool or say we want to go and play pool, the first thing their parents will say is that, oh, you want to go and uh, be exposed to the vices that exist in the, in the bar. Okay. But obviously we are seeing that at even these young, young ages, at 17, junior players, junior players are given the opportunity okay. to come and play at the highest level. That tells you that there is a potential for career development mm -hmm. in many of these sports we are talking about. Nine ball pool, eight ball pool, and all the rest. So, it is important for us in Africa to open up this Q sports, that's pool. We should open up to this full structure of age that is available, mm -hmm. that you can get. So young children, because people do not believe that young children uh, should play pool because they think, in quotes, that pool is for drunkards. Mm -hmm. But I want to assure them they should go and drink and take the Q stick and let us see whether any of them would be able to hit pot a ball with drink in their eye. Mm -hmm. Definitely, it will, be, it will be a tough sell. Oh. But at, to get to the professional level, you don't mix drink and what? 
and it gives. That it gives. Thank you very much. And it's just amazing when I discover that, uh, you know, under 19, under 17, giving them the exposure at that, at that early age just to mix up, if not for anything, boys. just for the experience, you know. And it will go a long way to make an impression on them. Yes. Because that's really good for their development. Also, the world ranking, the players rank 17 onward on the WPA uh, world ranking also had opportunity. And lastly is the additional tournament invites. That is just an invite. And like I said, you have to merit it. And even at sometimes at the discretion of the organizer. Mm -hmm. And sometimes it is giving just to give what I call to give the organizer the privilege or the opportunity to expose. Example, if Matchroom invites a Nigerian player mm. to come, like the SPPA number one, to come and play in the world, this thing. There is no, we are not looking at it, but that the person will go all the way to go and win. Mm -hmm. Nobody, if you get there, there's nothing wrong in you aiming to win. Mm -hmm. But what it does automatically, it's, it stimulates greater interest in Nigeria in the game of nine ball pool. Because right now in Nigeria, excuse me, in Nigeria, the most popular version of pool is the uh, is the eight ball, eight ball pool. pool it's the eight ball pool. Okay. So we don't even play the English eight ball. Mm -hmm. We don't. We just we've just we just created our own rules and everything, and that is what we play. But there's need for us to streamline it, play the uh, Chinese pool, mm -hmm. that's Chinese able, able pool, we must begin to streamline our our various games in line with this and we will organize competitions in line according to international best practice. I think, like you said, I just feel that most of this is just um, some some level of um, the variation in most of these games. There are variations. Yeah, but just, there are variations those but variations are very, very, saying, very critical and very important. Yeah, as long as, but it's, it's also, oh, I think we should also uh, concentrate on the development of the yes, game. Yes, development of the, the game. The kind of quality of players that we, we can develop. We can turn out. So, turn, we can turn out. I think that's, that's what On a regular basis. Because the rules will come in, but uh, we just need to learn about the expertise. Okay, all right, that's far as the criteria. Eight of them we just were able to look at. And let's now look at uh, the big boys that uh, the last two standing on the, that particular champ in that particular championship. The final day, it was Albin Ochan against Omar Al-Shaheen. The, the little known, I rather use the word, the little known Omar Al-Shaheen Al from Kuwait. So, of course, great. Uh, massive. You know, at times you just see some of those guys just come in and uh, uh, the less fancy players just come in and before you know it, they are, some, they are, they are making waves as far as they... And of course, a lot of people, the defending champion, Fedor Ghost, think even a lot of people would, was one of the players to beat as yep. a defending champion. But unfortunately, it was Albin Ochan who was winning the second... You know, title world, for the world, world title. Yeah, the, the last world, one, uh, world championship the, title. The, 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 the world championship title. And in 2021, that was his second title. Yeah, that's sec the that that second world championship world title. That, yeah. Exactly. For, because uh, he also, earlier in March, I remember that he won um, um, the championship league. Yes, yes. He, he won yes. the championship league. And so he was able to, uh, 13 to 9. Yep. That was uh, 13. For to me, nine. for me, the, I, I, like in every sport, let me use the word, like in every sport, we all hope that we have a battle between David and Goliath mm. in every sport. Uh, in the match between Nayuki O versus Joshua mm -hmm. Fillet, Joshua Fillet, who is number, mm -hmm. world number one, mm -hmm. um, I, <laughs> I must be truthful to myself. Mm -hmm. I was rooting for Nayuki O. Sincerely, I was rooting for Nayuki O. And that was in the round of 32. Mm -hmm. And uh, Joshua Fillet came into that particular game with this confidence that even when my wife was sitting watching with me, he says, oh, this Joshua Fillet will win. Mm -hmm. The confidence that, oh, this is mine for keeps. Oh, yeah, huh? And uh, Nayuki from Japan 
showed him a surprise. That was big upset. Yeah, a lot of upsets. Big it's upset in the, a in the match. And that match upset. ended 11-6. And that was what we were hoping will happen in the final. Well, uh, but, uh, Pretty yeah. competitive. Yeah, Forget the... The, the results did not, is not manifesting was, exactly. the quality of play that of was play. Play, exactly because at some point it was it was at some point it was for Asain to lose yes. because it was yes. leading, it was leading it was leading point. it was exactly. leading initially that's why it was leading that, you know, the, yes when you got it you like I say when you have it you have it when you have it you have it experience matters mm -hmm. in some of these things we want to say kudos to them of course as usual and. Uh, you know, we want them to, to bask in the euphoria of, uh, for, for Albin, bask in the euphoria of the championship. We've got the bragging rights. And for Al Shaheen, there is always another day. And of course, there's some money to, for keeps too in the back. Uh, 25 for Al Shaheen, 25,000 US dollars. dollars and yeah. uh, for Albin, Albin won 50,000 US dollars. That's uh, good money. And, and even the, the two semi-finalists walked away with twelve thousand five hundred. And he said something. Yes, that the money was spread out true. He uh, said, so "What was the motivation?" He said, uh, "That uh, I've been." He said, "The motivation was was because of the pressure. He just wanted to win, and uh, <laughs> he after, not wanted. He say, had <laughs> to win. He had to, so he just he said." That was the motivation that I just don't want to lose it. Then after winning, now said, now nah, I can go enjoy the money. But, too. Yes, now nah, but you know the money the wasn't even. I the was, attraction. I was, I was hoping. I was thinking that mm -hmm. Kazakis mm -hmm. was going to was going to live up to the billing. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, he this time he was uh, he was caught flat-footed yes, and uh, he did not get up even to the. Semi-finals. Yes, it happens. Maybe they will have to brush up, uh, brush up their game, and uh, uh, look forward to another. There are many of them, you know. Anyway, the the competition space, um, the ecosystem is back now. All everything is getting back to normal, and we will see more of this. Who says we can't even have? Of course, and I hope that it will translate to some. You know, it's some reformation on the continent of Africa, which brings me to the next question that uh, we'll be looking at. The, the, the trial of Mohammed Day that Richard Halliday, Vincent Halliday. Richard Halliday was at the World, Pool, uh, World Cup of Pool. Pool, yes. Of course, with his wife. His yes. wife had to play, play for... for... Yeah, yeah. But the fact that it's always the Halliday brothers, for me, is just, especially from South Africa, now we have three of them. And it is not exclusive to this country. It, it, so that's the point. There so is, I, to an extent, I know that we have to ensure that APA APA has a lot of work to do mm -hmm. to make pool snooker. Well, uh, pool. Not let me not mention sure snooker. Okay. To make pool okay. all versions of pool, able pool, black ball pool, uh, English uh, English. English 8-ball, mm -hmm. uh, and um, even Chinese 8-ball, all the versions of pool, we need to promote them in Africa. So that there can be, because South Africa, people, the, pro, the issue for me is that South Africa is so far down the continent. Mm -hmm. Most of the time, it is not easy for people from North Africa, from West Africa to come down to South Africa, and you also know this whole issue of uh, uh, visa restriction. It, it, it is in Africa, uh, traveling in Africa is such I'm a to think that might even something. Affect the development of that game. Of Not game only game. that game; it is affecting development of sports generally. Unlike in Europe, where you have Shanghai visa, where you can move so easily between continent, uh, between countries in Europe. Even most of the time, you don't even need visa. If you're a German, you just hop in the next train. You are there in England in the next two, three hours. And you are, it's so, it's, but in Africa, movement, it's very, very restricted. Yes. And I think that it's a problem in the development of pulling this country. I'll go with you. Maybe we'll just start with the regional system first. Put some of the regional structures together. Play from the west to the north. Or play from the west, east. Um, south, southern part we always play there. As, uh, the northern part we also play. The central too can hold their own. Yeah, can hold so their own. We'll start with the regions first. Then maybe once in a while, on I don't, I don't know how they want to do it. Then they can be 
a master's lecture yeah, or somewhere. something of the sort. All right, we're we'll going on a break now um, for the player of the week. Uh, um, yes, fortunately, yeah. Um, player of the week this week is a woman. Yeah, we're going to the female folk today on the show. And our player of the week is Jasmine Ochen. That is the sister of uh, Albin Ochen. I just imagine how it was growing up for these two, <laughs> two uh, the, uh, for Albin and uh, Jasmine, Jasmine, really, because uh, um, I wonder what the family is like, especially when you talk about cue sports. But the beautiful thing about it tells you something that pool is not, is not what. It's not gender sensitive. Exactly. It's not gender sensitive. Jasmine so also played in the he World Championship. In, yeah, yeah, she played in, one. Yes, she played he in the World played. Championship. And she beat she beat Billy Trump of USA. Wow. And Billy even thought he was he, that he was pretty very good. Mm. He tried to he tried to do the normal razzmatazz and this whole confidence building that I'm a man. But before she you understood know, what was happening, Jasmine held her off and then um, and she did what was necessary to, to prove that uh, when it comes to pool, pool is a mental sport. Exactly. It is, it, there's nothing about uh, being powerful, no strength. It's, mm -hmm. what, it's so all in the head. It's not gender sensitive. It's, it's not gender sensitive. Right. And, um, okay. Big ups to Jasmine. Jasmine is our player of the week. Uh, that's up next is the profile of Jasmine Osman. How the cookie crumbles as far as the show is concerned. Thanks for joining us for the uh, for this edition, okay? And I look forward to some exciting times as far as uh, pools pool is concerning on the continent of Nigeria, on the continent of Africa as well as Nigeria. Uh, courtesy of Snook and Pool Players Alliance, and uh, to their president, I want to wish you all the best, Joe. My pleasure. All right, that's it as far as the show is concerned. Julian Landman is my name. See you some other time. Yeah.